This is StoryLink Radio. Our stories are presented before a live audience, then recorded for the StoryLink Radio podcast for your on-demand listening pleasure. Please visit StoryLinkRadio.com for show notes, to find out how to join our live audience, and for lots of free stuff, including free audiobooks and much more. In addition to stories, our talented storytellers also present poetry for your listening pleasure, such as this following selection. Please remember to visit www.storylinkradio.com Selkies are creatures found in Irish, Scottish, and Icelandic folklore. Selkies live as seals in the sea, but shed their skin to become human on land. Male selkies are described as being very handsome in their human form and having great seductive powers over human women. They typically seek those who are dissatisfied with their lives, such as married women waiting for their fishermen husbands to return from sea. If a woman wishes to make contact with a selkie male, she must shed seven tears into the sea at the peak of high tide. Stories concerning selkies are generally romantic tragedies. Sometimes a human will not know that their lover is a selkie and wakes to find them return to their seal form. In other stories, the human will hide the selkie's skin, thus preventing the selkie from returning to its seal form. A selkie can only make contact with one human for a short amount of time before the selkie must return to the sea. The selkie is unable to make contact with that human again for seven years. Well, unless the human steals the selkie's skin and hides it. The haunting ballad the great Selkie Asul Skeri tells the story of a young maiden who falls in love with a Selkie man. She has a child by him, but shortly after the Selkie man disappears, leaving her alone with her baby son. Seven years later, the maiden comes across a grey seal by the shore, and the seal says to her, I am a man upon the land, I'm a Selkie in the sea, and when I'm far from every strand, my dwelling is in Sulskeri. The woman realizes the seal is actually her selkie lover, but he quickly vanishes beneath the waves. He returns again seven years later to visit the mother and his son bearing gifts to pay the nursing fee. He gives the mother a small chest full of gold and another full of silver. Then he tells the mother that the boy will go with him back to the sea and live amongst the Selkies on the rocky islands or on the Skerry. The mother asks, how will she know her son when he is in seal form? The Selkie man then places a chain of gold around the boy's neck and tells the mother that she will always know her son by the chain he wears. Then the boy leaves his mother and goes with his Selkie father to the sea. As he leaves, the Selkie man predicts that the woman will marry a seal hunter who will ultimately shoot the Selkie man and her son. The woman does eventually marry, and some time later, when her husband is out hunting, he shoots two seals, one old and gray, the other young. Around the neck of the young seal was a gold chain, which the hunter takes home to give his wife. Upon receiving the gift, she realizes... Her son is dead. In the movie The Devil's Own, with Harrison Ford and Brad Pitt, one of the characters, Rory, says, Don't look for a happy ending. It's not an American story. It's an Irish one. Well, I guess maybe that sentiment applies to this tale as well. And so now, here is the ballad of the great Silky of Sue Scary. I heard a mother lull her bairn. In I she rocked, in I she sang. She took so hard upon the verse that the heart within her body rang. O oh, cradle row and cradle go, and I sleep well, my bairn within. I ken not who thy father is, nor yet the land that he dwells in. And up then spake a grey selkie, as I he woke her from her sleep. I'll tell where thy bairn's father is, he sitting close by thy bed feet. I am a man upon the land, I am a selkie on the sea, and when I'm far from every strand, my dwelling is in Sulskeri. And foster well, my wee young son, I for twelve months and a day, and when that twelve months fairly done, 
I'll come and pay the nourish fee. And when that weary twelve-month gaid, he's come to pay the nourish fee. He had a coffer full of gold, and another full of white money. Upon the scaly is thy son, upon the scaly lieth he. Sin thou would see thy own young son, now is the time to speak with he. But how shall I my young son know, when thou art taking him far from me? The one who wears the chain of gold, among the selkies shall be he. And thy will get a hunter good, and a rich fine hunter I'm sure he'll be. And the first I shot the air he shoots, will kill both my young son and me. This was a wee taste of the legend of the Selkies. Please look through our podcast for other episodes of Selkie Stories. Also, if you'll visit our website, www.storylinkradio.com, you will find a link to hear this ballad sung by Joan Baez. Thank you for listening to Storylink Radio. If you like what you've just heard, we hope you will subscribe to our podcast and pass along our web address, www.storylinkradio.com. Be sure to visit our website for show notes, to find out how to join our live audience, and for lots of free stuff, including free audiobooks and much more. Join us next time for another story from Storylink Radio.